include our coding list strata uh, section. We have the thrusts, the imbroccato, the number nine, and the stoccato, the number 10. So this is a bit of a longer section. It's much longer than the cutting part because there's so many different options here. So with sword in one hand, if you're dealing with an imbroccato, we can use the falso dritto, turning our body onto our right side and throw two stranzole to the head, dritto in this case. We can also use the true edge, so a mezzo man dritto stepping to the left, and depending on where my point ends up, whether it's on them or off, it's on. I use the punta diversa. If it is somewhat off, that's our cue to do the reverso tondo, to the face, throat. We can use a ridocchio if they're going more towards our right side. So if they're really strongly aiming here, we can come up from below and thrust our own imbricata to their chest or face. And then finally, we can ignore the thrust in a sense and cut the hand as it's uh, exposed coming forward. So going from corpo strata to cinghiale via a mezzo margarito. If the tip attacks, it's at a rising thrust, a stoccata, you have a couple more options. Three would be very similar. So stoccata, false perito, cut. Cut to stabazzoni. We can still use the mezzo mandrito thrust and then get out of the way. We can use faccia here, which is very easy to pick up. We can do the same thing as before and cut the hand as the arm is extending. Ending up in cignale. And we can also do this kind of prelude to the inside slip, where we give a look of defense in this kind of reverse head guard position, but then strike to the inside of the right arm with a reverse of Do that again. So kind of give the look of the defense. But the whole point is to charge up that stramazzone to the inside of the arm. Now we pick up the dagger with a few more options. If we have given any little bit of a, a, a window here for them to come through, opened up our side a little bit, and they go to our right side, this is our first time we're going to use the outside slip. So we're going to guide their sword to our outside while we raise our right hand and throw what he calls an overhand reverso to the head. We can also, this is against an imbrocata as well, use a mezzo mangrito. It's going to get a little bit tighter because we have this to kind of help us out. So instead of stepping we can, with the right foot, we can try and step and move the center that way. And that could, of course, also be a reverso to the face if my point's not on. So we beat there. And then if it's a rising thrust instead, we will do the inside slip, which we kind of saw uh, in the sword one hand. So now we're going to guide the sword to our inside as we thrust the own stoccato. And that could very easily turn into, because their dagger is there, a mandrito to their leg. Finally, just like with sword one hand, we can step back and strike to the hand with a mezzo and the Again, making sure I'm ending up in cinghiale when I finish. So, I the testa and cinghiale. And then for the cloak, we will do some very similar actions. In Mercato, we still have the mezzo mandrito. Same thing here, I want to use the triangle step instead and either cut to the face, to the throat, or thrust to the chest with the punta reversa. We can 
can use the full solution of the kind of head like position. And so instead of going to the head, you're going to go to the leg, the thigh, the reverso fondo. And the final one here is we have the outside slip as well, so making sure that this is actually available from the strikes so coming towards our right. We're going to guide them that way, keep them going, and strike to the head with a overhand reversal. And to conclude, we have three defenses against the stoccata. Once again, we have the inside slip, so guiding them to our inside and thrusting with the stoccata. We can get out of the way and uh, use the uh, mezzo ambito. So we will beat, cut, and then cut the leg. So we'll do it again the side. So let's see. So beat, cut, cut. To the leg. Cut to the leg will only work, of course, if their cloak is high. So it's important that the First actual attack is the one high. So it's defend, cut high as they bring their cloak high. That's when we bring our sword low. And then finally, we can do a unique action here where he suggests that we lower our weapons. We're going to turn our cloak on the guy's wheel as we do a little slack here to turn our cloak in the guys on the wheel, kind of picking up their weapon, and then thrusting in that time. So we're basically just weighing down the weapon while deflecting with our left hand. So that is Kurunga Strata with all three weapon combinations. Next set of videos, Kurunga Alta.